In a previous clip, I showed you how easy it is to hang a door and what a difference it makes to your room. In this clip, we'll show you how easy it is to install a mortise lock and some handles. Tools that you'll need, Phillips screwdriver, chisel with block hammer, rubber door stops, drill driver with a two millimeter drill bit, spirit level, combination square, pencil, a 10, 18 and 22 millimeter spade bit, and a brad awl. Materials that you'll need is your chosen lock set kit. Now the first thing we need to do is find the location of the lock on the door. Now because this door replaced an old door, there are holes in the frame to accommodate for that lock. Easiest way to do that is find out on the strike plate where the latch hits. You just mark those spots and now we can see where our latch needs to line up with the door. So now we know where the latch needs to sit. So what I'm going to do is use the actual lock, line it up with those lines and use the actual body to find the top and bottom for our mortise. The next thing we need to do is find and mark the center. So we have 38, so 19 is our center mark. Use our square and draw out our center mark. Now that I've got my center line marked out, I can start creating my mortise. A handy hint is to chock the door so it doesn't move while you're working. To start the mortise, I'm using an 18 mil spade bit. That'll give the lock set enough space to go into the mortise. I've also created a flag depth stop at the depth of the lock. So I'll drill a series of holes along the center line between the top and the bottom to create the mortise. Now that all my holes are drilled, I like to just score a mark down the edges so I can see where I'm chiseling. I can get my hammer and chisel and start straightening out that mortise. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Next thing to do, just score your lines around the plate so that we can countersink that. So I've got my lines, now with the chisel I'll just remove some material to accommodate for the thickness of the plate. So now I've cut in my outline, I can knock in a few slots to help me remove the material. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is use my brad awl to mark off my positions for my pilot holes. Then I can hold the lock body on the side and use my brad awl to find the positions of the spindle and keyholes. Now when you're marking the keyhole, mark the top and bottom of the key slot so that you can make a slot for the key. Now I like to use my pilot hole bit and drill straight through the door in the positions for the spindle and the key lock to make sure that I can see it from both sides. Now with the pilot holes drilled, I can use a 22 mil for the spindle hole and a 10 mil for the keyhole. Now to prevent blowouts, I like to drill halfway through the one side and then the halfway through the other side, which is why drilling straight through with the pilot hole helps so much. And then I'll just use my chisel to finish the slot. Right, time to assemble. Lock body in. I can secure the lock into the door. And the pilot hole really does make putting these screws in a lot easier. Next is our spindle. And then our handles can go on. Perfect. Let's get those secured with the provided screws. Now when putting the handles on, I like to make use of a small spirit level and that just makes sure that the handles are straight. Same on the other side. The last thing left from the kit is the strike plate, which you can change if you like. I'm gonna leave the old one here purely because it's a different shape and it's already recessed into the wall. But the door works perfectly and closes great. What an easy way to complement this door and modernize your home. Now for a full range of locks and door handles available at Builders, visit the Builders website. For more how-tos, check out the YouTube channel. Get to Builders and get it done.